New car batteries are expensive and they're only getting more expensive as time goes on. So how long is it going to be before you have to spend a bunch of money on another new car battery? Let's go over the determining factors. The first one is battery quality. A lot of car battery retailers will have quality tiers that start with a base level that has the shortest warranty and the lowest cranking apps. Their mid-level option steps that up a bit, usually adding a year to the warranty and a bit more cranking power. Then there will be the top level battery with the longest warranty and the highest cranking power. However, there will usually be an even more expensive AGM or absorbed glass mat battery, similar cranking power and even more expensive. There's a kind of lead plate lottery and some batteries are just going to be a rare dud and the warranty will usually catch those because they generally fail in the first year. However, sometimes you end up with the other end of the lead lottery and wind up with a battery that lasts 12 years. A top tier non-AGM battery in a car without electrical issues will typically last four to seven years. However, other factors will come into play as well. Extreme cold can reduce a battery's cranking abilities and makes the engine harder to turn over. Extreme heat can also reduce the life of a battery. Even sealed batteries are vented, meaning water can evaporate out slowly, lowering the battery acid level and altering the acidic strength of the mix. Heat is such a problem for batteries that some car manufacturers are putting venting systems in to keep the battery cool or even taking the battery out of the engine compartment entirely. Sometimes batteries will be built differently for different climates and will be available in northern or southern versions. Other factors that can reduce the life of a battery include excessive vibration, conductive debris on the top, a lack of clamp to secure it, and general damage to the casing. When vibration is an unavoidable issue, an AGM battery is your best bet. The glass mats in an AGM battery help the lead plates stay in place, preventing breakage. An important note about AGM batteries is that sometimes they are the bare minimum requirement for some vehicles. Features like start-stop and lots of cabin electronics that come on before the engine even starts can put a lot of stress on traditional flooded lead-acid batteries. One last thing is, if you're looking to get a new battery for your car and you're not getting something extra fancy, most car batteries sold in North America are made by either Johnson Controls or East Penn, and the difference between one store's battery and another at the same level could simply be a sticker. If the defining features of the case are the same, like the vent style and location of the production code, it probably came out of the same factory. How long do car batteries last without an alternator? While this will depend on how many electrical components are turned on during the drive, on a battery in good condition, you may be able to drive about 20 minutes. The higher the reserve capacity of the battery, which is usually marked near the cranking ratings as RC, the longer it should be able to be driven. However, driving around counting on your battery with zero help from your alternator is super risky because your vehicle can suddenly stop running in the middle of the road. And for that reason, I can't recommend doing that. How long do car batteries last without driving or running the engine? So when your car is just sitting there in the driveway, you think of it as doing nothing, but it's actually slowly draining the battery. While it's more of an issue on modern cars, old cars with minimal electronics can still drain the battery over time. Even if a battery is disconnected, if there's dirt, moisture, spilled battery acid, anything conductive on the top of the battery, it's completing a circuit and draining it. When I used to work at a parts store, we had a policy where if the battery was on the shelf for 18 months, it would be taken out of inventory and sold as a used battery. Even a battery in ideal conditions drains a little over time. The degradation was noteworthy enough that whoever's responsibility it was to cover the cost of the warranty, be it the store, the manufacturer, or some mix of the two, they didn't want to deal with the risk of selling a battery that old. As far as time frames go in actual in-car use, Generally, a battery can last weeks or months in older cars and weeks in more tech-heavy cars. Other factors that we went over earlier in the video will shorten that time frame. If the battery drains very quickly but is otherwise healthy, there could be a parasitic draw in the vehicle consuming the electrical charge. While this could be as simple as a light that was left on, it can be incredibly difficult to track down the source without the proper tools and diagnostic know-how. If you want to learn how to do something like that, consider subscribing. We already have some videos up to help you understand automotive electrical systems, and more added all the time. Either way, thanks for watching this Car Simplified video.